state of mind is something not uh, very serious at all for a man who is for whom end is very near the state of mind is unimportant what you are going to do at the time we are living is more important uh, for a man who has been a lawyer for 30 years and an actor for 30 years and now sitting in a chair and looking at the computer only for the last so many years it is only thinking that can do i cannot uh, do anything except thinking and putting it some of it in my computer that is all my state of mind think something and write something i am on the facebook so i keep reaching people by with my thoughts it is an accident uh, in fact i am a i was a very shy person actually i don't even speak to others uh, probably that is a bringing in fact i i was a cricketer i had ambition to play test cricket i captain my college side but there was a point at which cricket ended and last started and uh, so i was practicing law and uh, i came here because my brother called me to come kamal asked me to come and look after his affairs because uh, he was earning practically about 100 uh, times what i was earning as a lawyer why waste your time as a lawyer come here so i came here and it was uh, director mahendran who said why don't i make a film with you also in the film so because he called me i went there and i told him i cannot act i am not an actor but he still insisted that i must work in his film udri pookal which is done in 1979 uh, in fact i wanted to leave film industry back to court i went back then again it was jayakanthan who made another film in which he asked me to act so that one got over another and i was stuck to the film industry from the practice of law not that i was a very great lawyer or something like that but still it is getting out of one profession and getting into another profession comfortably was nice to me in fact it was uh, in the early days it was the japanese uh, director i forgot the name uh, he roshaman rashaman was the film that influenced me i saw this film somewhere in 1950s after i became a lawyer and the way the film was made was totally different from all films that were made so far and rashomon was a film that appealed to me the most akira kurosawa yeah he got the name akira kurosawa uh, his film is this film making is totally different from the entire world film making and i was able to see it in fact that is the one film i saw about 3 4 times 3 uh, 4 days i stayed in madras i saw the film 3 4 times that is the film that influenced me the most actually you will be surprised i am basically an atheist uh, i had no faith uh, i was brought up as a in a family where you were sent to temple till you were 15 you come into the world and the going to temple every day seemed to be absurd and then i felt the concept of god is in the human mind so i became an atheist but still i found two films which is totally opposed to atheism 
was very well made and appealed to me twice. There was a film called The Ghost, a uh, Hollywood film. The subject of the film is, the hero is dead. And heroine is having another friend who is the cause of his death. And the hero does not go to heaven. He, this uh, soul comes and tries to tell her that he is the killer. Don't trust him. That is the film. It is called The Ghost. I think one of the artists got an Oscar award in that film. That film appealed to me the most. And the next film was, uh, there is a, the title I do not clearly remember. It is Rosemary's Confessions or Rosemary's Dreams. Where a priest trying to cure a lady who is sick. And he tries to cure her by preaching. And this priest is prosecuted for her death because he has taken away from medicine and tried to cure it with the church preachings. The whole trial comes before us. That film is called The Dreams of Rosemary's. Anyway, you will have to find the right title. These are the three films that appeal to me most. Two of them are films I do not believe in. And the first film is something that does not happen. So, cinema... So, I understand that cinema is unreal. And of course, to define cinema, uh, I think it is bringing the unreal to the proximity of the real. It has to be done in such a way that the unreal appeals to us in the real. In fact, this is what is being done in our commercial cinema. This falling in love is unreal, but it is made real here. The violence is unreal and it is made real here. So, making the unreal real is the effort of cinema. That way, I can understand why I like these three films. It's a process of evolution. In fact, cinema is for the people. So, you have to necessarily make a film that people want to see. And if you look at cinema, uh, the Basic humans who all understand everything, the main thing is sex and violence. Even a scientist has got sex and violence in his head. Even an engineer has got sex and violence in his head. So does a lawyer. So does every other profession. Even an accountant has sex and violence in his head. A man who has no education has also sex and violence in his head. So, the common subject is always taken in cinema so that it reaches maximum number of people. And uh, uh, so, we have to basically use sex and violence. And in between, we will have to fill up with things that interest humans. My favorite director all time was uh, K. Balachanda. I cannot judge a foreign director. In fact, I start with Akira Kurosawa, but the man who changed the face of cinema was K. Balachanda. In fact, one of the reasons I came to Madras was after my brother became a successful hero, I wanted to make a film with K. Balachanda. And uh, I gave him a small advance with which I moved on to Madras. But I never <laughs> did what I came for. I was never able to make a film with them. Because produce a film with them. I wanted to be only a producer. I had a, I have an excellent director on hand, excellent hero, saleable hero on hand. So what, what else you want? Put some money, borrow it, make the film. But ultimately, I never made it. 
but I have been very close to him. And uh, uh, before I could make the film, I expired. That is the reason. Otherwise, I have been talking to him about making a film all the time. My favorite character is my brother, because he happens to be my brother. <laughs> Simple. Then I had to go to Marlon Brando. So go there, not here. Why select here? Marlon Brando, super. And uh, I have seen almost all old time actors. I have started from Errol Flynn uh, and a number of actors from there. Uh, uh, so I started seeing films when I was 15, 16 and I had a father who said, see more films and he didn't mind son becoming an actor. I, In fact, he wanted me to become an actor, I said no, because I thought I am going to be a space scientist. <laughs> I thought not to say, and finally reducing myself to a law degree. Space science got too far away from me, so settled down to law and came to cinema. I am not uh, working on anything, it is uh, the fag end of my life and uh, in fact I am working on a subject where a director makes a film and he finds he has made a bad film. So he calls a famous writer, asks him to see the film and said how to make the film. The whole story is about a director and a writer who is outside cinema. The two people in mind for me is Bharat Raja and writer Sujata. So, I, I know both are my friends, so I can say that. Bharat Raja, after making 20, 30 films, finds that his present film is not up to the mark. So, he calls Sujata and said, I want to correct this. Do it. The whole subject is about that. They are discussing, discussing. The, the whole thing can be shot in a studio and some places. In the discussion, they talk about how they lived as students together and then how they got along. All those things come in and finally the writer says, the youngest man who is working under you is the right man to make this film because next generation does better than others. That is the end of the subject. Uh, I have, I have written it as a diary, diary entry of two friends. It is, one is by the writer, the other is, one comes after the other and uh, I think I'll, somebody must make a screenplay out of it and make a film, a film on filmmaking. Nothing, I should have learnt more. Somehow, learning process is less. I have a grandson who reads two books a day, which I never did. Probably I could have done better if I have educated myself better. Aspiring artist, it, you have to work hard and keep thinking of new things. If you, for instance, we keep a, take a film of Mani Ratna, you remake it, nobody is going to see it. You do it exactly in another language, still there nobody is going to see it. So what you give must be something new. That is, that must be important. So if when you make a film like so and so, it must be a film which is not made by him up to this day. Then, you have to come up with a new thing. And when you come up with a new thing, it must be an acceptable new thing.
For instance, let us say, a man falls in love with a girl in India. He is, he is sent to foreign countries. He fall in, falls in love with the Pakistani girl. You can make a story out of it. He comes back. Enmity, everything will work out. But if you take the life of a lady who is posted in Pakistan, who is in love with a Pakistani, she had to choose between a Pakistani and Indian. You are going to lose both Pakistan and India in your film. So this is something that you bring new, should not bring the hatred in people. And I do not know, things are changing. You read Mahabharata, Mahabharata comes today. In Mahabharata there are five, husband, five husbands to one lady. Why do we see it? It is because it is the past, it is not the present. And go, you see Ramayana, there is one wife to one man, for that one wife he runs a war. So presumably the Mahabharata was written far back, later Ramayana was written, this is my opinion. So the changes are coming through. I wanted to say one thing, what is right and what is wrong, it's a matter that keeps on changing. Either you are dead before changes come or during your lifetime new changes come. So change is everything. It comes. So rights and wrongs are constantly changing. So you have to adapt to that changes and then make interesting food. Quite a lot of female directors are there. Uh, said, my daughter has directed a film herself. So there is no point in saying we are not allowing. The problem with India is there is a system, not only in India, world over, man is superior to woman. It is upset in our minds. Unfortunately, you must find that women are expected to live longer in difficult circumstances. You look at, if you want to kill a man, have a needle, one inch prick, he is dead. You need a five inch prick <laughs> because you have to go through the entire flesh of uh, the uh, chest bones, chest uh, flesh. And a man carries his reproductive organ like a front bumper of a car. The first thing that happens to him is in his reproductive organ. For a woman, it is kept deep inside. So that the basic principle is to save the woman. So that reproductive system will continue. If you look at women, they don't get bald easily. This hair is expected to protect your brain from injuries. More hair is found on women and baldness is very common. Man can be discarded, but women cannot be discarded. They, they are needed. So, we have to learn so that more women directors will come. The filmmakers of India should think in terms of coming out with new subjects. Basic, life is in all, all not sex and violence. If there is a fight between the two, it is over in a few seconds. One dies. And if there is a sex between the two, it is over in about one hour. So, you, you must get out of this sex and violence formula and come with new things. When you come with the new things, you are like a scientist. You are going to create things. Like, create things like uh, 
the japanese director akiro kurosawa did so we have to think of new things sex is part of it violence is part of it but it is not all there are other subjects that we should do please sit and think of subjects where sex and violence become secondary other things are important please try it it's very difficult please do it